Do you want to install apps on your iPhone from outside the Apple App Store? Well, due to Apple's strict rules, there are not a lot of options to sideload apps on your iPhone. If you want to install your custom IPA files on your iPhone, you have to follow a long setup process. As you know, Android users can easily sideload apps by directly running APK files on their phone. But Apple has put restrictions on sideloading apps on iPhone, so you cannot directly install IPA files on iPhone. But they can be installed using iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. For this, you need a computer with iTunes and iCloud running on it. You can use a Windows or Mac computer for this. First of all, open a browser on your computer and search for All Store. Open the official website. Scroll down and download the All Store for your Mac or Windows computer. After downloading, extract the zip file and install the application on your PC. Next, if you are using a Windows PC, you need to install iTunes and iCloud on your PC. To download them, go to the All Store website. Click on User Guide. Click on Getting Started Windows. From here, you can directly download iTunes and iCloud using these links. After downloading, install them one by one. After installation, launch iCloud and iTunes and sign in using your Apple ID. Sideloading apps on your iPhone requires PC authentication through iTunes and iCloud. So make sure you log in to both iTunes and iCloud using the same Apple ID that you are using on your iPhone. Now, you need to establish a connection between your iPhone and computer. To do so, connect your iPhone to your computer using a lightning to USB A or C cable. Make sure your computer and iPhone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Click on the device icon to open up its settings. Here, enable these two options, automatically sync when this iPhone is connected and sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. Your computer is now set to wirelessly receive side loading and refresh requests from iPhone, which will come in handy later. You can now unplug your iPhone and process to install the Alt Store app on it. To install Alt Store, launch Alt Server. Click on the Alt Server icon from the taskbar, then select Install Alt Store. Then choose your iPhone which is now connected over the Wi-Fi. You need to log in to Alt Server using the same Apple ID. After that, wait a few minutes and you will find the Alt Store app installed on your iPhone. We'll install IPA files using this All Store app. Before that, you have to enable developer mode on your iPhone and approve your Apple ID for device management. To do so, open settings, go to privacy and security, developer mode. To enable the developer mode toggle, you need to restart the device to turn it on. After restart, open settings again, tap on general, VPN and device management, tap on your Apple ID and tap the trust button. You can now open all store. Go to settings and sign in using your Apple ID. Then go to the browse tab. Click on sources. Then you can add all the sources. You'll get some popular apps that are safe to sideload from these sources. 
tap on done. Now you can browse all the apps that are currently available to sideload from All Store itself. There are some handy apps like Flycast, which is mainly a Dreamcast game console emulator, Delta, which lets you emulate various game systems like Nintendo 64 and Game Boy, Clip, which lets you easily manage your clipboard history, UTM, which allows you to run virtual machines on the iOS, and a few more. From My Apps tab, you can install your own IPA files. But before that, you should disable your antivirus program's real-time protection on your computer because it may interrupt all server services during the app installation process and you might get an error message on your iPhone. After disabling the antivirus program on your PC, click the plus button. Then select your IPA file from iPhone storage. All server will sign your app with your Apple ID so that the app can run on your iPhone. After the installation, you can open your side-loaded app and use it without any worries. This way you can install more apps as you wish. But remember that you can only sideload 10 apps per week using a standard Apple account. However, if you upgrade your Apple account to a developer account, you will be able to sideload any number of apps on your iPhone. Moreover, due to Apple's restriction, any apps that you sideload will work only for 7 days. You can see it's showing the expire in 7 days warning beside every app. To bypass this restriction, make sure you connect your computer and iPhone to the same Wi-Fi network. It will make sure that your side-loaded apps are refreshed regularly through Alt Server and remain valid. After 7 days, if it doesn't refresh automatically, you can press the Refresh All button to manually refresh the signing key on the app. Friends, if you are using a Mac computer, then the setup process would be a little bit different. In that case, you can go to the News tab and then tap on the New to All Store section. Click on the Getting Started Mac OS. From here, you can check the step by step process to set up All Store on a Mac computer. I hope this guide was helpful in learning how to sideload apps on your iPhone. While the process I have explained is safe, it's up to you which IPA file you are going to sideload. It's advisable to download IPA files only from trusted sources to keep your device safe from viruses and malware. Make sure you do not sideload apps that may get you in trouble. So, which apps are you planning to sideload on your iPhone? Let us know in the comment section below.